Hello. When you're building your site, you'll, you'll want to change a, a collection of small miscellaneous settings. And first of all, I'm going to make a menu, a navigation menu, and then we're going to set some things in the, the customizer, which lets you set basic settings. So, first of all, I want to go to the dashboard, appearance, menus, and we're going to make a new menu. So create new menu. I'm going to call it main menu. Click create menu. So now we've got a menu, but there's nothing inside it. So I'm going to add some pages. Here you can choose different things. And if you open the screen options and tick all of the boxes, you'll get more options down here. All I want to do is add the pages, so I want to add our services, contact us, about us, we'll add the sample page as well. We'll add them to the menu. Now, I want to add a, a, a link to the home page as well. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to navigate to the home page of our website, copy this from the uh, from Internet Explorer, or oh, I'm using Chrome here. Now on your site that would be um, whatever, myshop.com or whatever. So we need that URL. But the best way to do it is go to your home page and copy it in your web browser. I'm now going to choose links here. In, before I was in pages, now I'm going to choose links. I'm just going to put that link in there. Type home. It's going to be the home page link. Add it to our menu. And I'm going to drag that up to the top. Now, sometimes WordPress will add that for you automatically. Sometimes you'll have to do it yourself. If you want to have a different order, suppose you want it to be um, about us, home, about us, our services, contact us. We'll put a sample page before contact us. If you want to add a drop-down list, just drag things sideways like that. If you don't want it to be a drop-down list, don't drag it sideways. Save your menu. Actually, I'll, I'll add that one as a drop-down list, just so you can see what, what happens. Now, we've made a menu here, but we need to manage the location. We need to choose where to put this new menu. So, click Manage Locations. I'm going to have that as a primary navigation menu. I've only got one menu at the moment. Save Changes. And we'll look at our home page and see what it's like. So, refresh the page. And that's the primary navigation, and that's the drop down. When we dragged it sideways, this one, dragged it sideways, and that made underneath our services a drop down. So that's the menu made. Now, what we need to do is just set some miscellaneous settings. So if we go to the dashboard, appearance, customize, We can change several different things. We can change the tagline and the title, this title here. Now this theme doesn't show the tagline, but some themes will. So if you wanted to change that, just add some more and it'll appear here. I don't want to add that, so I'm going to remove it. What's next? Colors. You can change the background color which would appear here. I've got a background image, but if I remove the background image, you would see a background colour there. We'll remove the image just so you can see. If I remove the image, we get this background colour. And you choose that here. If you want to have a logo type image there, it's got to be a certain size on this Metro Pro theme by Studio Press. Now, if you look at the header image there, it tells you the size the image would have to be to fit. Now, different themes will have different sizes here. So if you're using a different theme, check there, see what size the, the header or logo image would need to be. And then you can make an image and upload it here. The background image, I'm going to replace the background image because I, I think it looks good on this theme. Just click the button and then choose an image. I've got one there. Don't have an image that's too bright or it'll um, distract people from your content. I've made that one into a black and white image on purpose. 
choose the image and it appears here. So that's the background image. You just choose the image there. The navigation, we can, we can set where that there's a primary navigation and secondary navigation, and we can choose the nav bars to use here, but we have to actually make the navigation the way I showed you at the beginning of the video. Widgets, we've done that in a different video. Static front page, most studio press themes use this, your, your latest posts. If that doesn't work, you could try static page, but generally speaking, they use your latest posts. Color scheme, different uh, themes have different color scheme options. If you look at this here, when we change it to blue, changes. Um, and different, different themes have different options there. So have a look, see what in the colour scheme, see what options you've got available in your theme. Site layout. Now this is whether or not you want to use um, a sidebar. You can, as you make each individual post, you can choose these different options. You've got um, left sidebar, right sidebar, things like that, or full width content. Um, but this is the the default layout. It will choose this one, content sidebar unless you choose when you make the post you can choose to have a different setup if you want to but that's the default layout there site layout breadcrumbs you turn breadcrumbs on and off here if you want to have breadcrumbs you just tick the box for where you want them to appear on single posts single pages or the home page wherever you want breadcrumbs tick the box and breadcrumbs will appear there breadcrumbs are a little um it's like a little trail back. See, you are here. This is breadcrumbs. And sometimes it can be useful. If you've got a big site that's difficult to navigate, breadcrumbs can be useful. Uh, comments, you can turn comments on there. If you want to, enable comments or untick the box to disable comments. Now, this content archives is useful. What this one does, we'll go to a, an archive page. So... If we look at the blog style listing page, there's lots of different blog style listing pages in WordPress. Um, and this is what this content archives section controls. You can display the content, how many characters to display, whether or not you have a featured image. That turns the featured image on or off. How big you want the featured image to be. So suppose you wanted the featured image to be, um, 150 square, you can change that, and there it's changed. But basically what you want to do is just pick some settings that you like the look of, um, align the image left or right. That numeric is about at the bottom of the page. You have some uh, these buttons, and you've got numeric, which is this button style out, and the other option is next and previous, which is a plain text. But you can change it to plain text if you want. It changes the style of these buttons. Anyway, that's it for the customizer. When you've done, click Save and Publish. Then close the customizer. Go back to your site and see if it looks the way you want it to. Well, that's it for the customizer. Let's move on.